The Independent Africa Regional Certification Commission for Polio Eradication officially declared the World Health Organization Africa region is free of wild polio virus. This marks eradication of the second virus from the face of the continent since smallpox 40 years ago. This last case of a wild polio virus in the region was detected in 2016 in Nigeria. In a statement, the ARCC chairperson, Professor Rose Ghana Fomban Leke, said the Africa Regional Certification Commission for Polio Eradication, ARCC, is pleased to announce that the region has successfully met the certification criteria for wild polio eradication, with no cases of the wild polio virus reported in the region in four years. This will be a momentous milestone for Africa. It marks only the second eradication of a virus from the face of the continent since smallpox 40 years ago. Now, future generations of African children can live free of wild polio virus. And joining us live is Dr. Dayo Aweali, a public health physician. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me this evening. How significant is this certification to the African continent? Well, it's a very huge one. It's uh, very significant. We are all happy. We have been working towards this for years. Um, we have been trying to search and, you know, trying to uh, trace every uh, possible case of uh, polio because before you can get certification that you are polio free, um, you must really be polio free, one. Then two, there must be evidence that you are searching for the um, white polio virus and you are not finding it. So uh, we have been doing a lot of documentation, a lot of search to ensure that uh, uh, really there are no cases of white polio virus. And uh, it gives many of us a lot of joy that at this point, uh, we are getting the certification. It's quite a very huge one. Okay, I think everyone would agree that this is good news, but is it, is it not worrying that northern part of Nigeria is the last area that made the whole of Africa uh, polio-free? Yeah, well, uh, you know, like I said, uh, you must have enough evidence uh, with your documents that you are searching and you are not finding before you will say you are truly free. Because if that is not the case, then anybody can come out and say, I don't have polio. But you must have evidence that you have searched. So uh, uh, there is really nothing to worry about. What uh, everybody to do now, what uh, the citizens are expected to do now is to have abide by the protocols is to ensure that every child is uh, given the vaccine. Polio is a vaccine preventable disease. That makes it very easy to prevent. And uh, a very large percentage of those who come down with polio of any type are those who were not vaccinated. So it is very important for uh, the citizens of Nigeria at this point now in order to sustain this, to ensure that uh, every child is vaccinated and also to follow um, the universal precautions. All right. And, and what would you also recommend to the African continent to avoid a return? Okay. Uh, just like I said, uh, Nigeria is part of Africa. Every other part of Africa also should, uh, you know, it's like I say, it's more like a taboo when you have a vaccine preventable disease uh, outbreak. Because it's like you have a disease and you have a way how to have a solution to it and yet you're having the outbreak of that disease. So uh, 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 African as a continent needs uh, uh, to be educated about, you know, even uh, as we talk now, we have uh, the outbreak of COVID-19 all over the world, and some people still don't believe that COVID-19 exists. So I think uh, the African as a continent, we need to uh, really put our hands together and support whatever the government is doing, and also educate ourselves uh, to be up to date about uh, uh, diseases, especially these epidemic-prone uh, diseases. And, uh, they, you know, all diseases generally, especially infectious diseases, once they are able to follow um, the universal precautions, the preventive measures, 
uh, you are not only preventing one disease, you are preventing all infectious disease. All right. So if they say one hand hygiene, for example, is not only going to prevent COVID-19 alone, it will prevent all other diseases. If they say use of face masks, it's not going to prevent COVID-19 alone, it's going to prevent every other infectious respiratory uh, disease. Thank you very so much. once we follow all this, and for all vaccine preventable diseases, we should ensure that we take the vaccine. And then uh, we'll be happy. Dr. Awoyale, thank you so much for speaking with us. Uh, looking forward to also speaking with you again. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me.